All right, welcome back to the 3D Touch series. In this series, we learn how to use 3D Touch as 3D Touch in your app. In the last video, I hope that you already watched that. If you haven't, click the link next to this video and watch it first, okay? So in this video, after we, in the last video, we got the pick experience. When the user harder, pick harder into the cell, then we can show the preview of the view controller. Now, in this video, it's really, really short because we will learn how to implement this path feature, okay? Now, this means it literally, like when the user press a little bit harder on the screen, on the cell, then we could pick out the preview controller. And then if the user hard, press harder, a little bit harder than that, then we can pop the whole screen out. We will see the whole preview screen, okay? So here is the pop. Now, in the pop, we will have to implement the previewing context, previewing context, view controller to commit. We have that view controller that we returned over here, okay? Oh, I forgot that I, now, one of the things I forgot to tell you is, in the last video, is that when we return here, we will have to return previewing context not return nil okay if you uh run it right now maybe you got it i'm sorry not previewing context but photo vc okay so if you run it previously maybe you got an error like that okay so hopefully that it will solve out the problem so in the part after we got that we return the photo view controller it is passed into this view controller to commit right it passed into that view controller to commit now how we are going to handle that photo vc that view controller to commit well in this case i would just want to have show view controller view controller to commit and the center is self okay the center is self what this method does is that it will put out it will stack this view controller to commit on the navigation stack of our app and it will pop out it will show out the whole photo view controller the whole detail screen okay so let's run the project to see how it looks like all right i hope that you enjoy this video it's a very short video so in the next video we'll learn how we can add the actions in the pick when now when the user pick onto the image we can not like it is not stopping there because if the user slide up, we can add more actions into that so that the user can do things like like that photo, save the photo, share the photo, everything that you want to do. So let's learn how to do that in the next video. I'll see you then.